subject and I shall not feed it. The final report of the Committee of Experts dated the 11th of October 2010 notes that Kenyans wanted, and I quote, that there be a clear distinction between offices of state and offices of government, unquote. Following public debates, the position of the assistant minister was abolished altogether and did not make it to the Constitution of Kenya 2010. It is thus not surprising that the size of the cabinet secretaries is now capped at 22. Article 152 of the Constitution provides that the cabinet shall comprise of A, the president, B, the deputy president, C, the attorney general, and D, not fewer than 14 and not more than 22 cabinet secretaries. It is therefore our considered view that the creation of a similar office to the assistant minister now in name of CASS cannot be created in the manner the first respondent and the fifth respondent proceeded. Based on the reasoning set out above, we do not think that it was the intention of the framers of the constitution to have 50 CASS deputizing 22 cabinet secretaries. Furthermore, public participation on the office of CAS was founded on a complement of 23 CASs. Doubt is erased by the following other facts. In the letter of 11th October 2022 by Dr. Joseph Kenywa, head of public service to the PSC, the head of state requested the PSC to declare 23 vacancies for CASs. We note, however, that the special issue of Kenya Gazette Notice Number 12432, dated 12th of October 2022, and the media advertisement the following day, calling for applications from suitable candidates, did not set the number of vacancies. Furthermore, the stay in the Court of Appeal preserved the original office created on 24th January 2018. Once that office was abolished on 21st September 2022, the newly created office and complement of 23 office holders could no longer benefit from that stay. Accordingly, the newly created office and fresh complement of 50 had to comply with the constitution and the criteria set out earlier in Nokia's case in order to be lawfully established they did not comply. For the avoidance of doubt, the entire complement of 50 CASs is therefore unconstitutional. I'll now ask my learned sister, Lady Justice Ongudi, to deal with the next issue.